That don't try to tell me it's impossible to win with Krieg, because that's just gonna make me want to play it more. We we officially got our Maya win last round, and this is the final character that I need to get a win on, which is crazy because this is my most used character. Alright, we got TD or Chucks. And shotgun for Oh Torg magazine size! Let's go. Give me those torques. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see. Rebarize Corrosive Transfusion. What if I'm... What if I'm over transfusions? What if I'm more of like a longbow fire burst kind of guy nowadays? You know? Okay. We can press now. Yeah, there's a lot of pistols. Where's my shield at? There it is. We can go... I think Bloodfield Guns is the best we can do for early. Did I pick up that corrosive damage weapon? I hope I did. I, I should have been thinking about that. I didn't do it. That's a that's a mistake. What a mistake! That's okay, though. My torques have increased mag size, and I have increased explosive damage as well, so... It's, a, it's not the greatest synergy in the world, but it is a synergy. Come on now. Oh, you fossil skag, huh? I'm gonna make you- I'm gonna turn you into a fossil, homie. Carbon date that. We can, we can get the dub on Krieg. It's possible. We'll get there. Can we get there with the fire build? I don't know. But I can't help myself. I always have to try. <laughs> it's too fun. Simple as that. I had a run where I could have done it, but I accidentally shot a wall and destroyed myself. Let's see here. Turn around. This thing's pretty nice, but let's try this shoddy on the small map. <laughs> shoddy on the medium-sized map. Light off. Nope. Well, it's a light off sniper. I don't want to turn up my nose at it. It's gonna let. It's going to allow us to kill. Oh, whoa! How about we chill out, brother? Yeah, we're in trouble now. I didn't bring that corrosive damage weapon with me. Oh, yeah, as long as we keep our distance, we should be fine. Maybe some TDR chucks. Yeah, that's good. Good chucks, brother. You guys, okay. If you, you guys really just gonna do that, is that your thing? Okay, that's we're doing okay. Less stacks means less ammo taken up. Oh, let's take that adaptive shield. Is that loot enemy? Rabbit Skag? Okay, let's go. Come on, Skag boys. Ye Skag. <laughs> okay, we we got a free kill on a Pop Skag to get a full health, uh, full heal while on Buzzax Rampage, so we take. Come on, Rabbit Skag. All those times that you wanted to mess with me, now you want to just chill over here and do nothing? Last enemy of the round. Me against you, homie. Chuck. Oh, now you're really done. Don't don't step up if you can't take it. If you can't take the heat, bro. All right. Let's see. A torpedo. A Hulk. A citru oh Gatlin gun. That's fun. All right, let's take this Hulk to replace my terrible weapon. And let's take this Gatlin gun because it's fun. <laughs> Gatlin gun because it's fun. <laughs> Rock rifle. If this torpedo consumes four ammo per shot, let's just. I want to give it a try. Maybe it will be good. Who knows? Okay, let's take now. This hurts my brain. I don't know. Killing enemy with a bullet decreases grenade fuse time. Could be useful. If we got some decent grenages. This one has a lot of damage. Consumes a bunch of ammo, but a lot of damage. And a Hulk as well. We could be pretty set with explosions. Explosions? We got this. 
Take that bandit. We're, again, we're stack piling weapons because we don't know what raid boss we're going to be fighting. Craw resists explosions outright. So, if we think we're going to go into Craw with an, with an explosion based build, we're going to have another thing coming. That reload, though? Yes. This weapon seems pretty strong. Except when I hit myself. You use Bloodash Rampage for the full heal. So it's an efficient way to use it. Again, I, I mentioned this in my last Krieg video, but I have an idea for Krieg where if I go release the beast and blood explosion, but do gun build, not melee. Ow. Really? Um, I can use release the beast as a full heal. I'm sorry, bro. Are you slagged? Okay, they're not cool, man. That reload needs some work. my torpedoes at this guy and hide back here doom, 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 doom. okay bro relax relax you're gonna make me kill myself there's like all your other friends do every time i try to play this game oh yeah oh no okay now i got no way to heal this me this hulk see ya don't let don't explode that barrel don't explode that barrel oh one shot Ooh. Hey, hey, chill out. Destroy that barrel. I swear he was in range of that barrel. Whenever, I, whenever I'm that close to a barrel, always kills me. Get that melee strike off. There we go. What is that back there? I can't see it, and I'm low on HP. Incendiary damage. I'm in trouble now, big time. I gotta, cause I gotta reload. Please don't run away. Thank you. Thank you. I can finally get some Bugash Rampage and a heal off. There we go. That was simple. All right. Start from the bottom. Now we're here. Start from the bottom. Now my whole team here. Hmm. Don't see anything I like there. I believe. I say it with me. I, I, I believe. I believe. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that we. <laughs> I believe that we will win. I sh I sure enough for you guys. Don't worry. Da 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 do. All right, this chest over here should be dece. And, and how do I know that? I just got a gut feeling. bad <laughs> just bad all right this is when we actually start getting some some decent points into grenade throws and for tor weapons as well bum, bum, bum. this hurts my brain <laughs> kree can do it with an explosive damage build he can it's possible a peak opener would be ideal we are running torgs Maybe this tour can be good. Let's fire it. Okay, its missile isn't slow either. That's good. I think we can probably dip out of the zone, right? Because I already opened up this one. Yeah, okay, let's dip. I missed... There's one red chest back behind that hut that I didn't get, but that's okay. Where you at? All right. See you later. That didn't count as a gun kill or a grenade kill. It counted as like a barrel kill, it looked like. I need to get some high ground. Let's not fight them down below. I gotta fight them up top. Okay. Kill this lad. Thank you. Good melee attack, Creek. What are you doing? Ow. I might go down. No, of course. I just... Oh, that's, that's just so... Such terrible news. Put that guy up top. Got him. But I need his explosive damage resist. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, he's gone. Ow, ow. This guy's gonna definitely level up. If he hasn't already. My kill. My kill. Three shots on a rab on a Hulk is nice, though. Can he yeah, I can scale splash damage for sure. Let's go, baby. 
Tom Ford, what's up, homie? He says he loves watching Roguelands. I'm glad I've been able to catch a stream. Yeah, what's up? Saturday morning stream. Good time. Good time to watch. We're 1 HP on Krieg, but things are going okay. Let's climb a ladder. That's not going to be a good angle for me. This is probably one of the hardest zones. If I had to if I had to rank this zone, I'd probably put this one top five. Hardest mobbing zones. Every time I press Possession Rampage, I get, I get one tapped. That's not good news. No, no, it's the end of the run. Where are you going? Okay, you're coming back. Okay, we live. Let's go. Yeah, Creek can scale splash damage very, very well. Uh, the secret for it comes from a bloodbath. Killing an enemy with a grenade or explosion increases gun damage for each stack of bloodlust. So, with this skill, if you get a kill with a grenade or explosion, aka a Torg weapon, like the Hulk, right? That's This counts as grenades. So, it's another, like, again, it's one of those weird things where nothing, it doesn't say anything about scaling with grenade damage on the card. It's Borderlands, right? They hate, they, they hate telling you what's actually going on. Like, it's, it's, it's almost like their, their UI and game matches their personalities as developers. Anyways, if I get a kill with a grenade or explosion, it's going to increase my gun damage, which these, these Torg weapons also scale up gun damage. So... Overall, it's just really synergistic. I need one more kill. But all these enemies are grouped up, so I might just take a launcher shot at this guy over here and call it a day. There we go. So Torg weapons go really, really nicely on Krieg. And the same thing with TDR weapons. Now, TDR, I'm not sure if it's as good. I think, yeah, TDR weapons do scale their grenade damage. Their toss damage based on the the gun damage, so it, it, it does work well with TDRs as well. So that's big. Open up, brother. Okay, it's a bang stick. The only thing that would take over this Hulk is is either a better Hulk or a Ravager that does it better. But being able to get three shots off is really nice. If if I found a Ravager that only got one shot off, I probably wouldn't take it. I also want to get that pressure plate. Let's go. But knowing where pressure plates are becomes more and more valuable in the later tiers. What you got for me? Nothing crazy. So like something like an un like something like an unkept herald. It counts as grenades. It counts as gun, and you just you just keep getting kill skills. Now the biggest problem is that you can't activate your kill skills against some of the some of the raid bosses it's like how 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 you're gonna do it there couldn't tell you <laughs> but we can try all right let's go next let's take our five points though so typically right here i stop i stop here and i don't go any further however i want to get to this reload speed so we are going to keep going I think Boiling Blood will be good. Because we're not stacking up that crazy quickly. We're not, like, we don't have tons of corrosive damage dots. If I can get a homing corrosive cloud or something, that could be good. And we have a chance to get some stuff here. Oh, it's a reload. I can't believe I'm not reloaded right now. That's that's one of the longest reloads I've ever experienced in my life. All right, shoot that. Shoot that bottle. There yeah, we got it. All right, let's just maybe start with the Bug Eye Rampage. Here we go. We got a full heal. I'm in trouble. Heavy nomads putting me down. What's up, homie? There. Scaling up all of our damage. I see they kill these guys that are flanking me. That way I can actually have like a way out. Okay. Now you wanna you wanna close the gap? I'm always one HP on Kree, I swear. Always. This guy will not stop backing up. What's your... The Marauders are actually some of the harder enemies to kill, I feel like. There we go. Yo, what's up? Your boy bot fly... Or your boy... Your boy fly. What's up, homie? I think a lobbed Merv could be good at 0, 0.0 second fuse time. Just a way to put 
enemies down. We just need more ways to put enemies down because while we do have really big burst damage, our downtime is pretty ridiculous. Our time where the weapons are not ready is pretty ridiculous. All right, let's shoot this, Bad Larry. So this, just having a grenade that can do something is going to be useful. There we go. Toss that down. Okay, we're okay. The sprint to give me some distance. See ya. A lob grenade. Toss it down there by that scavenger. Again, and we also pick up grenades on Krieg way faster and more than other characters. It's kind of like playing Moe's in BL2, where when you get kills with grenades, they have a chance to drop uh, more grenades as well. So we just keep chucking. Zero second fuse time is nice. Oh, Mortar can drop Pandemic. I'm not sure if the if the the drops are the same in this. But Pandemic would be nice, right? Because Pandemic will spread Crozo dots, with the, which are the best dots for... So I had a, a run ended because I shot like here. Like I was like, oh, this is an opening, but it's not. It hits the fence and it kills you. So I got a run ended like that. That was pretty sad. That guy's not going to run at me. All right, toss a grenade out. Oh, this guy, this, one, this guy, has, he's a run under. He's, he's a run under. Oh my gosh, he's gonna literally end my run. Two, three, four. Can I get a reload off? Maybe. No way. I can't. Oh, I'm alive. Run, run for life. Run for your life. Nice. Let's go. All right, this weapon, the fire teeth of Terramorphous. I believe scales off grenade damage as well. Um, so it could be very valuable for us. Very valuable for us. Let's go ahead and get this bottle. Okay, don't, don't accidentally kill yourself now. Thank you. Let's see, turtle shield. Really? These are some... That's some Duke. Okay, teeth can do splash. We need to be pretty far for it to work. Got it. Let's take it. Is it is teeth at Terramorphous a? Oh, let's go. Strip the flesh and taste the blood. Let's go. I want that reload speed. For stacks. The reason why this is gonna be nice is because if I can, if I can, get some fire dots going, I can stack bloodlust a lot faster now. Let's see. A singularity might not be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, that was a crazy save. <laughs> that was pretty nuts. All right, let's go. Time to be one HP this whole fight and probably die. <laughs> but we have a decent boss mod now, though. Rip the flush. Taste the blood. Two skills that I don't have any points into, but that's a fine. So this gives me... What does it give me? Explosive damage resist, too, or no? No, just explosive damage. I'll bet it still scales. I know that this... Hmm. I hope it still scales. And we don't want a little bit of slag. Do I have any slag? I do. Alright, let's just get him slagged, get him prepped. Okay, now he's vulnerable. Watch, look at my stacks. See how much faster they go up now? And the more stacks I have, the faster my reload speed, which is huge now. Now all I need to do is get one kill. Here we go. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, wait, it's a kill skill for the reload speed. Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, I wish I knew that. I, w I should be base. You shouldn't have to get a kill skill to get the reload speed. Sorry, that's... Pretty too reliant on kill skills. This thing is popping off. Absolutely popping off. Later. Alright, this is my first chance to get some actual decent weapons. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. 
Bum, ba, ba, dum, ba, ba, dum, bum, bum. All right, this this is the kind of gear that that can that can alter your run in the best ways. You've got to be kidding me with this drop, man. It's like a skyrocket, though. Certainly a series of weapons. Uh, uh, not the greatest, I don't think. Unless somebody knows. I mean, the order shield, we might get the law. Lightning bolt, trash. So hammerlocks, no. Dude. We might have to hit the box. Okay, so blood explosion, obviously. And some more max HP. We're gonna try to get the ship to flash if we can. Maybe we should just maybe we should go to strip the flesh right away, but here's the thing. We need options. We need to hit the box. Okay. With that being said, let's do one more bolt the box. Yeah, I want it. What is it? I don't want it anymore. Hammer. Okay, let's do one more pull. One more pull. We can do SCUs later. Okay, a Lyud Milla, a corrosive Lyud Milla, has there's something there's something there for that for sure. We have decent grenade. Skyrock is a decent grenade, but oh, baby maker. Why you think the baby maker is good? It's corrosive though. It's not going to be good against any of the raid, but raid raid bosses. But it's good for it's good for reloads though, right? That's TD or SMG. Is it, do you just use it for for chucking? Is it is it is it is it is the baby maker? It's like a a chuck specialist. Hey, the, okay, we got this. You against me, homie. Okay. Chuck. Yeah, one chuck. One chuck per is pretty good. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Holy cow. There we go. Not bad. And the corrosive is actually good for stacking up, right? Don't hit me. I don't have a really good way to heal if I get in trouble. I didn't take any STUs, but I can run around the outside. Oh, that's huge deeps. Let's go. Good call out by your boy Fly for sure on this baby maker. Oh, relax with that. Happy Saturday, yo yo hot dog. All the crew has gotten in here today. I'm trying to get this this boss to go down. I, I got a really nice weapon here, uh, yo yo, that when you reload it, I throw it and it does insane damage. And I am playing a really good throw reload character I, i'm scaling my because when you throw these bad boys uh they count as grenade damage and i and i'm scaling up my grenade damage to like ridiculous levels but the problem is when you throw it it eats up all the ammo that's left in the magazine so as you can tell my well I, i'm not sure if you guys can see actually my my ammo is low so Duck. I think I might have my logo on the bottom right corner. I thought about changing it so that my logo is not there, so people can see my ammo. But the logo, I've been advised to keep it there. But I could swap it out for like a subscribe button. Oh yeah. What whiff? Whiffing? Not, nah, not on the menu. Chuck. Really? Oh, that's right. You were playing. You did the Hydra builds, right? You were playing Hydra builds in Wonderlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I need to do a Chuck here, yeah. You can't stop me, Chuck. So the reason why this works with Krieg is because of a couple things, but mainly blood-filled guns. Magazine size of all weapons is increased for each stack of bloodlust. So whenever we deal any kind of damage, we, could, we only have seven stacks right now, but whenever you do a dot to an enemy, whenever you kill an enemy, whenever you melee an enemy, whenever you do anything, you get stacks of bloodlust. Oh, I actually, I actually just reload. 
And so you get a magazine size that's really big, and these TDR weapons, the bigger the magazine size, the more grenade damage the throws do. So it is kind of a broken synergy, if you ask me. Now this guy is He's he's pissed, and I get I get that he's pissed, but it's not going to affect my gameplay at all. Let's just hit him with the fire teeth of Terramorphus until he dies. Okay, do I have any way to heal up? Not really at all. I do have transfusions. Run away. I saw a grenade at him. See how it works. Oh, that did good deeps. My, is my skyrocket fire? I didn't know that you could get a fire skyrocket. Is that, are all skyrockets fire? Interesting. Um, I kind of want to have a transfusion instead. I pure resist fire right now. I've been I've been told that that he doesn't. I mean, he, I know it does say resist every once in a while, but I've been told that fire is a good element against him um, when you're in this stage. Is that wrong? I mean, I've been I've been using fire ever since someone told me that it was a semi-reliable source. It's someone who gave me a lot of information in the past. Oh gosh, I need to get a transfusion going. Yeah, this could be a run under. Transfusions are slow healing. They're good healing, just slow healing. I know. Oh gosh. Oh, this is the end. Transfusions, please help me out here. I got no more transfusions. I need to go run. I mean, the damage looks good, so maybe. Yeah, I, I've been. I've been. I know explosive can be good against him. I know that for a fact. So I've, I've run ogres and stuff against this guy, and he just gets absolutely shredded. Getting high peers early on, though, is a little bit rough. I would, I'd rather fight him tier 2, but is what it is. Alright, let's see. Breath of the Seraphs. Um, gives me bonuses when I get back from second wind. Snooze. Impaler shield. We like that. Impaler's oh, actualizer or Ahab. Ahab has a lot of rocket damage. The problem with the Ahab is that it's hard to hit anything with it. Okay. So the Impaler is nice because... Um, launch corrosive homing spikes to enemies uh, that... Basically, I'm going to be corroding everything that either shoots me or melees me. And those corrosive dots will stack up my blood belts better than any other kind of dots. Oh, rocket speed prefix? Really? On this Ahab? Fiddle D. Hey, let's go. Let's shoot it once. Oh, that's nice, actually. Oh, that is nice. Huge. Reparize Stormfront. I'll take it as a replacement grenade. That's for sure. Stormfront's one of my favorites. Let's rock. Let's rock today. Okay, this could be it. Let's okay. Let's not try to speak. Too, oh no! Oh no, this is fine. Let's not speak too soon, but this might be it. We have a baby maker. We have an Ahab that looks pretty good. Let's go. On to tier two. Rocket speed prefix on this Ahab does go pretty hard, huh? Okay. The beat down. Fire Teeth of Terra Morbus has never let me down, though. Like, ever. Ever. Whenever I take this thing, it always does, always does big deeps. But you gotta know when, when to use it. It's, it doesn't do that much damage unless the enemies are um, very big. So it's good against raid bosses. Especially, I've used it against Terra one time, and holy brother. <laughs> it one-shot him. Okay, so we gotta think here a little bit. Fire Teeth of Terramorphous isn't gonna be the absolute best for right now. Neither is the Lyud Milla, to be honest with you. You know what we might do for mobbing? And you guys might not like this, but I think it'll be worth. Is we have a legendary sickle. Okay. So why don't we just lean into it? You know what I'm saying? Let's do 
Embrace the pain. Salt the wound. Silence the voices. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't really see a problem with doing this. One point thrill. Why one point thrill? We'll go one point redeem the soul. I, I don't need the heal. I don't. Because we are going to be going release the beast. So now we're going to be doing mostly melee damage. All right. Bloodfield guns, why not? So let these guys get me a little bit low. They're going to get impaled. Okay. See y'all later. And now we just melee in the mobbing rounds. This is one of the strongest mobbing builds in all of Borderlands. So I think that we can make use of it when we're not bossing. And we can use Baby Maker and stuff like that for bossing. Yeah. Well, yeah, I get instant. I got all my health back. Like you said. Later. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm still looking for some decent. Okay, no. Listen, it can't be. Not every build can be classic Mikey Dubs, okay? <laughs> not every build. But yeah, going melee is me. Okay. Yo, yo, Cisco Disco from the old days. Oh, you want to. Uh, is that what you want to do, bro? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Someone in a comment uh, yesterday said that. It's like, hey, pick up ammo. Like, what are you doing? And I completely agree with you. If I was playing regular Borderlands, I'm picking up ammo all the time. Rogue Lands, ammo gets reset. So I'm chilling. Melee damage, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Something like that. Now, the melee override is a bit of a waste, but that's fine. We're chilling. I think there is a, a pressure plate around here somewhere. But I don't know exactly where. Doo -doo. It's up up here, maybe. Overall, I think the Baby Maker could be a good weapon for us in the late game. Fire Teeth of Terramorphous is good, too. Whatever can do damage to those dragons. Let's see. I already have a Legendary Torch, and you already know that if I get something that enables my torch to go off, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going Torch. I'm going to go Fire Damage. But if I can go... <laughs> what if I went three different builds for the three different stages for Creek? Like, I, honestly, I have the knowledge to do it. You, I started with the left side tree for the tier one, go middle tree for tier two, and right side tree for tier three. That could be funny. Make a good video. Different, different build for every stage. Oh, the one shots. That's why Creek is so strong. Look at these one shots. Holy moly. It's like, oh, your weakness is long cooldown. Not anymore, homie. Not anymore. Whoa, that sapper just one-shot my ass. Okay, I'm back. Oh, we're so back. See a sapper. Okay, there's grenades all around me. I gotta be careful. But explosion is good for dragons, especially the green one. It, okay, here's my, here's my issue with it. Oh, let's see. A black hole. Black hole is not better than Impaler, I don't think. Except the green one only spawns in a couple dragons at a time. So I personally don't understand how it's doing that much for me. Yeah, I left the ammo on the ground. What a mistake. What a mistake, Tro. Big mistake. I'm happy that two of the different things that I like... Oh, wait. Oh, yo, yo, are you all caught up in Survivor? What is IG? Your boy Fly says, get lucky, I, I guess. Oh, I guess. Okay, okay. Okay, you're all caught up. Okay. I'm happy that uh, two of my uh, two of my things that I watch, 
both we're gonna lose the youtuber and and survivor have like mistake memes survivors is big mistake because of q and we're gonna lose is what a mistake when he wrecks people into the pit lane in the final lap and tells them that they made the mistake by pitting <laughs> oh man that's too funny that guy pit on the last lap what a mistake <laughs> You pushed me into the pits. No, it wasn't me. That was that was your boy Fly that did that. That wasn't me who did that. No, that was you. Who, me? <laughs> oh, yes. The word several has entered the terminology. That's right. Actually, in season 46 of Survivor, Jelinski, a character... Wow, I'm rich. Uh, a character from the show, he was upset that one of the challenge... Like, the challenge said that they would have several hours to complete, but they actually had... Uh, four hours. So he's like, I thought several meant seven. It's like, what? So now everything in the show this season, um, whenever the number seven comes up at all, they just call it several. Like, we're down to the final several, or like, this is episode, or season 46, episode several. That kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, Jelinski. Forever the goat. <laughs> what a mistake! <laughs> Uh, dude, too funny. Also, um, I've been hearing spoilers that the the art, the art of the of the season, I'm slagged and I'm hitting myself twice in a row. No, that's not even a joke anymore. That's just ridiculous. All right, Ahab, this is your moment, bro. That's all you got for me. And a crazy long reload. Okay, I'm back. Oh, we're so back. <laughs> Later. Bostick? Or like, gone stick. Later. Oh, now we're popping. Now we're popping. Oh, you wanna. Mm hmm. It's all coming together. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> Die. I can just baby make her while I wait. See ya. Super sick. I don't know where all the chests are in this stage, but. We're chilling. Yo, Ahab, you got a lot of work to do, brother. The fact that you couldn't kill one enemy and you're supposed to be, like, the highest damage launcher, the Ahab kind of sucks. It's like, okay, what's the downside of it? It's like, okay, it has the highest damage, but you have to be able to hit this tiny little projectile. Like, okay, I hit the projectile. There's no damage. <laughs> What's the, what do you have to do? Does it explode after a delay or something? Am I missing something? I gotta be missing something because I feel like it does just zero, and I have points in strip the flesh, so don't at me. All right, points in strip the flesh. Point in the field of blood. You're gonna need slag for sure. I don't need slag. You need slag, brother. Not me. Maybe you need. Maybe you need it. I don't. Um, slag is very useful. However, in this game mode, it is nerfed. In Rogue Lands, it is nerfed. Okay, we take that Rav. A hardy Ravager. Nice. Is this a matching grip? Let's check it out. No, it's not matching grip. That's okay, though. Yeah, oh, for real? Yeah, it is. Uh, typically, in this this game mode is set in Ultra Vault Hunter mode, which typically um, slag makes you do 4x damage. This only makes you, in this mode, it only makes you do 2x damage. However, they did scale uh, enemies' health to compensate. So, I think it's a much healthier system, IMO. The Baby Maker's ridiculous. Just want to put that out there. Just, just use the Baby Maker until I need to... Until I get low HP. Really? Go down, homie. Okay. We're so back. <laughs> oh, we are so back. I don't have Blood Explosion yet. Okay, you dropped a grenade. See ya. Anybody want to charge at me again? Oh, yeah, they do. Later. Later. Yeah, Baby Maker doing tons of work. Killer 6 suggest, suggested loadouts for BL4. I like that. Different builds for different scenarios. Uh, 
Killer Six definitely has opinions. Um, but yeah, I think, I think every Vault Hunter, like, has different builds for different scenarios already. Like, that's already a th thing. There we go. Like, Krieg. Krieg has really good build diversity. But I've seen people complain about him, like, I've seen the complaints online about Krieg's build diversity. Like, oh, once you get over do like, trying out all those different builds, like, he really has nothing left. It's like, bro. You In his post, he mentioned three builds. Like, I don't know what kind of games you're playing, but there's not a lot of games that allow characters to do three different fun builds. Like, and I'm not even talking about the builds that... Rip and that's just without the character. There are so many builds that are just about the, the gear and how it synergizes with the character. You know? The, the Krieg himself, just with his skills, has three amazingly fun skill trees. You can't ask for better than that. Later, kid. Mm, da, 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 Assassin Roof, at least it's not Oni. Okay, I might be in trouble here. I'm gonna have to go right into Buzzash Rampage. If I hit myself, I think I die. Get it, get them, and then a little whiff. Come on, don't hit yourself. Nice. Yeah, you can beat the game with no crit. Well, I don't know if you can beat OP10 without gear. I, I know you can be. I think you can beat Rogue Lance without gear. I thought I saw Jolt's dude do it. I mean, this is his mod, and I think he. Oh. Hear me out. I have a Lyud Milla. I, I don't need it. I feel like Lyud Milla is just better. Pitchfork's really good, though. I, I like I like its accuracy. I like its three pellets, but I gotta shoot some buckets too. Give me a second. I don't have anything that can quickly shoot buckets. So I do. Ah. Bucket me. What's I gotta check things off my bucket list. Hey, oh. watch this snipe. Oh, I did get it. Wow, crazy. Kind of an expert. The deep sheesh, yeah. For sure. I haven't been using my grenades at all. Anything good? I haven't gotten a melee shield. That's something that we could definitely be using. A melee shield. Alright, we do have five points to put in, though. So let's... Take some points in that, and then I think bloodbath could be good, because... Bloodbath could be good because we are going to be doing some chucks in the meantime. I think this is going to be a nice easy zone. Scorch? Yeah. Huge. Scorch is, a, is an easy boss. Change my mind. Look at that. Deebs, bro. Then we get increased gun damage, which will also in turn increase our toss damage, I think. Later. What'd you give me? Reverise Fire B? Okay, you know what? I think it might be time to uh, empty out some inventory. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Drop, drop. Oh, I dropped that order shield. Please don't, please don't fly anywhere crazy. Where'd it go? Adaptive. Yeah, the order shields are void damage shield. Let's just use that. I like the impaler though. Okay, now we gotta drop some more. We gotta, gotta drop some stuff. Impaler. I like the impaler, but. Two skins that I already have. Don't need that. Keep both of these class mods. Two incendiary damage relics. Don't need them both. Then all this gear can go. We have enough solid gear. Do, 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 Keep something for slag. We're going to need something for slag against Power Pete. And that Maloko, too. All right. Ow. Let's take a Fire B. 
My packs have packs. <laughs> Dude, I wish, bro. Krieg's a unit. And he knows it. Later. Go down, homie. That guy does not like to take damage. These guys all get one shot. That guy, not even a little bit. Which is crazy, because he's the fire one. He resists the fire. Why does he also resist? He doesn't resist corrosive, but I feel like he should be taking a lot more damage from this stuff. All right, Ahab me. We'll see ya. <laughs> that was funny. All right. I kind of want to go and maybe look at some gear up here. Okay, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay. We've had a couple close calls already. We've had enough close calls to last the whole game. <laughs> I don't need any more close calls. All right, but this is a chance for us to get, you know, some stuff for tier three even. None of that's going to be really that worth the force. Some SMG SDU could be crazy. Okay, out of ammo with that weapon. Let's swap to our Ravager for the time being. We need some... We need to get some... Um, we need to get a kill. Some kill skills going here. These guys are tanky, man. Until they drop my health down, I'm not going to swap. There we go. You did it. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Oh, don't hit yourself, bro. There we go. Oh, wow. I did a ton of damage to that. Do him right there. Oh, wait. Don't get... I need to kill this loot. Spider-Man first. Yes. Huge. What did you drop me? Legendary Torch class mod. Let's go. Avenger. Cool. So, I have a Torch class mod already. That's slightly better than that one. That's tough. Have you gotten a Krieg win yet? No. No Krieg wins, but we'll get there. That's okay. That's a 200% melee damage weapon. Two Lakos. A bad touch. We'll take a bad touch. I'll take one of these just to just to see if it's better. The one this one's better. Let's go. Slowly crying says, so let's go late again. Yeah, let's do it, baby. We're going into the late game as well. Alright. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Let's have some let's have our stacks always stay out. Now I have a, a rapier, so this should be, knock on wood, a little bit easy. Let's open up this bad boy and get our SMG stacks up. Yeah, let's do that. And Grenage. Oh, that's pistol. Oops. Three pulls to the box. I think we'll do us justice. We got this. Crew Blaster and Shred Fire. That's a nice launcher. That's going to be better than the Ahab for sure. And I had I had that in slot four. So. Ooh, Hector's Paradise is good. It, it also scales. Let's see. Longbow Fire B. Homing Fire B. Okay, well. Let's go fight a red boss. I'm going to guess it's Pyro P just because... Okay, this is going to be okay, I think. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it and do it. A uh, fire tooth, a terramorphous, a rapier, tapnia. Let's just make sure everything is where I need it to be. Alright, we'll start with baby maker. I did max out my baby maker. So we'll just chuck out at him. Get him pissed off. Oh, he big resists it. He, no, he big resists that. Okay, well, let's just rapier them then. I should hurt him. Get over here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna be your best friend. There we go. There's some deeps coming in. Dude, this big guy, he's not gonna... He, just does, he doesn't damage me, he's the problem. I have to damage myself. There we go. Got some Roy damage going now. That's gonna hurt him a lot more. 
Huge. Now he's going to go into his invincibility mode. This, that'll make it way easier for me to get into... Yeah, I just got Hector's. Uh, Hector's does do the grenade damage and things that I need. It does. It also is shock. Like, I, it is good. But... I think I should... I'm, I'm, I'm going to be going melee for a little bit. Oh, that's that's a fight for my life for sure. Look at them all scatter too. There we go. Alright. This should be good. I'm at 100 stacks. Ow. There we go. Toss. The tosses will be strong. Even if he resists, they're going to be good. Press. There we go. I seem to get one kill. I'm at 100 stacks. So when I get one kill, my grenade damage goes sky high. Get one more kill on the side. Dude, I'm taking a lot of damage now, though. Yeah, it's because I'm rocking the, the rapier. No blood explosion is tough here. Oh, what is that? Do I count for a short time? Do I get multiple axes? Oh, I definitely get multiple axes. That's funny. Multiple axes, homie. <laughs> See ya. What is this one? Amorgen and fire rate? Sure, why not? Wait for this guy to come back. Looking good. The rapier is the highest damage melee weapon in the game. Doom, ba -ba -doom, ba -ba -doom. All right. Let's maybe take back to the Terramorphous. I don't know what I should be using here. They're not doing enough damage to me. Pop. Whatever, we're, we're fine. Ow. Okay. Into Buzz Axe Rampage I go. Get a couple kills. A couple swipes. Come on, get back down here. Huge damage. Can't see. Ow. This fight's going decently well. Better than I thought it might. Ooh, okay, max health and grenade bonuses? Why not? Why not, homie? Eat these. Come on, eat these. Oh, yeah. Now you're ask Now you're asking for it. Hey, go down, homie. I just keep tossing. Okay, my, the, the bonus is gone. Okay, let's do it. Oh, you want to shoot me? Is that what it is? Ow! Okay. Uh -huh. Immediately got back up. Oh, loot tropical barcade. Huge. What is that? Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. There's zero percent chance I ever equipped that. I've only ever equipped it one time and it killed me. I'm gonna get pushed off the edge. There we go. Just need to take a little bit more damage here. There we go. I can't quite hit this guy. He's just a little bit too quick for me. There we go. I got a full health. There's a lot of flying up and flying back down. Like, a lot of it. Ah, dang. There we go. Come on. Yes, yes. Good deeps. Good deeps. Don't hit yourself, bro. This is our one time to hit him. Dang it. There we go. Maybe I do want increased duration of a Buzz Ash Rampage. Typically, I don't take that, but... Legendary Psycho Class Mod? Not taking it. It's just worse than the other ones. Ooh, do do do. What I am gonna do... First, I'm gonna see what I got. An Interfacer or an Antagonist? That's a tough choice. I... That's a tough choice. An interfacer is really, really good. It's slag. It's not fire. Or 
an antagonist that slags everything. It's basically the it's basically the the impaler, but with slag. Social interfacer though. Antagonist is correct. You know what? You, your fl your boy Fly, you helped me out. Oh, wait, you helped me out before with the with with choosing the right item. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust you here again. Oh yeah. Now, do we think that this build has what it takes to get through the dragons melee version? I'm not too sure. Let's take this green power up. That way, I can run faster. All right, speed run it. Run through here. Clean. Clean. Oh my god, his APM is off the charts. Okay. Let's see. Looking okay. I wish the... I wish I got a different interface right there. Slayer Terra, not taking it. Strip the flesh and taste the blood. Don't don't want that. Oh, I still have legendary torch on. That's crazy. Did I not have my Did I not have my sickle on for that entire fight? That's crazy. Holy. I didn't even have my sickle on for that whole fight. And no wonder I was doing no deeps. I was still doing deeps, but I wasn't doing deeps. All right, time for some time for some trivia. We got this. This is the most okay. This is the most important round of the game. Will legendary can Wilhelm drop? I know this. You can drop the Logan's gun. Let's go! All right, come on. Which food did Handsome Jack think sucks on your visit to Southern Shelf? Okay. I th it's not pizza. I'm gonna go pineapple. No. Ugh. Dang it! Just memorizing an memorizing answers now. Who cannot drop the North Fleet rocket launcher? I think Vermivorous can. Master G. Yes! Yeah, the answer is pretzels. Yeah, it is. Dang. That's okay. I tried pizza and pineapple now. It's pretzels. Really? Hot take, Handsome Jack. Not liking pretzels. Like, personally, get some honey mustard. Maybe a glass of water. Like, I feel you. Pretzel by itself. No reason to eat that. I mean, unless you're, unless of course you're hungry. But if you're just, you know, if you're just wanting something that tastes good, you don't need a pretzel. Okay, I think, I think I do want to try. I mean, I don't have any good healing weapons, and if I go with legendary torch, like, what am I gonna use? Like, my weapons for fire are very... I don't have a lot of good fire weapons. So let's just keep going with what I've got. If I get a Heartbreaker... Or something... Like, yeah, I would have gone straight into this zone... And gotten one shot by everybody, so... I'm happy that I... Thought about it a little bit. Get out of my head! Ow! Alright, where's my top in ya? Oh, wait, I can just use this. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy you, bro. You're not going to survive. Oh, HP loader. Oh, I'm alive. Let's go. The problem with the antagonist I'm going to have with this build is that um, I want my shield down. And I also want a Roy damage shield as well. So. While the slag is nice, I think the, I think the order is going to be slightly better for us. Chuck. If I if I had um, some fire damage weapons or something like that, and I could be using the antagonist for that reason, I might be going it. But Krieg doesn't really like you know shields that need to be up. He likes shields that need to be down. Cause so I keep I've got skills in my in my build that keep my shield down. All right, let's go. Can we do it? Oh, probably not. This is probably a death angle. Yeah, this is definitely a death angle. Oh no, it's not death angle. Baby maker. Baby maker coming in so clutch. It's insane. The best fight for your life weapon. 
I can't believe that, honestly. Let's set this up. Orphan Maker, though. Adds explosive damage to all melee attacks? What's the, what's the downside of Captain Blade's Manly Man Shield? Because I think adding explosive damage to all melee attacks sounds broken. What's that downside? Does it have to be... Does the shield, does the shield have to be up? Who can Google that one for me? Does the shield have to be up for it to work? Oh, so I want to get a borderland symbol here for sure. I know it's around the edge somewhere. It's like on the wall somewhere around here. You take more elemental damage? Okay, does the shield have to be up for it to work? Increases max health and grants health regeneration. We take for now. I don't mind taking more elemental damage, personally. No one really uses it. No one. How does no one really use it? I scale explosive damage. Sounds broken. I want to make sure that uh, my rapier is at number one and my baby maker is right underneath it. So I can scroll down once if I get in trouble and fight for my life. Get, get exploded. <laughs> Eat some explosive damage. That's pretty nice. Ammo regen and fire rate. Dude, that's... Oh. Oh, I'm going to go down. Getting, getting explosive damage on everything? I mean... This could this could be a secret tech. Do I get it when I throw? I need to hit one. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Okay, toss me. Toss me. Later, kids. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. Any easy targets at all? Scroll down. I don't have any easy. Oh, there's an easy target. Come on, get that kill, homie. Yes, we are back up in action. Love Thumper does the same thing, but better. I don't have a Love Thumper. Dude, this could be the end of the run. Okay, 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 okay. Kill, kill. Man, I keep going down. No, I did die. Oh, I shouldn't have taken so many cursed items. Oh, it's so bad. That's so bad. Well, GG. You can't win them all.